Welcome to my humble abode. The housing cost is probably the highest in the country. This financially and educationally makes more sense for me. Got to the point we couldn't justify the rents anymore, so we decided to try this. We have running water. We cook about three to four days out of the week in here. Sort of a shower in the making we're working on. This is my bed. A little closet right here. I don't want to be thousands of dollars in debt when I leave school. A short-term sacrifice for a long-term success. Until I graduate, at least, it's a better option for me. They're studying everything from art to computer science, but for a lot of students, college can be a tough lesson in economics. Here in San Francisco, City College offers a free education, but you have to live here to get it. And faced with some of the highest rent in the world, some students are getting creative. On the outside, it looks like any other delivery truck, but on the inside... It's not much to look at right now. Kyle Murphy is building a tiny apartment. The shower will probably open out this way. It'll have running water, a full kitchen. You could throw dinner parties back here is what you're saying. Yeah, absolutely. Wow, how many people? I would like to create seating for at least eight. Kyle is part of a growing community. This is my buddy Mark. This is the box truck that was done most recently before me. In more than a dozen of these nondescript vans and work trucks, City College students are building temporary homes while they go to school. This is home building type it insulation. Is. It's all Home Depot. Yeah, wow. it's it, what happened in here actually happened at Home Depot. Just about every weekend, they gather here in the parking lot to share tools and share ideas. So just take it off and put it up here. Painting, polishing, and problem solving. I just put the connectors on back here. With ready access to supplies. Something like that. As Kyle starts his project, he's learning from others that are almost done. Eventually we'll have a shower curtain. We have a hot water heater over here. From this Dodge van with a workspace that turns into a bed, to Jimmy Woo's home on wheels. What did this used to be? This was like an ambulance. Jimmy's remodeling for at least the fourth time. There's a extending table right here for extra counter space. Oh, cool. So how often do you cook and what do you tend to cook in here? So I usually cook every day during school. Today I cooked uh, turkey curry in the Instant Pot. Oh, that smells nice. You could call this roughing it, but Jimmy and Kyle have both seen much worse. Uh, I did four years in the Army, active duty as a combat medic. Of the students who live in these vans and trucks, an overwhelming number are veterans. After serving their country, they're now entitled to an education. The GI Bill pays for tuition and also pays for housing. The post-9-11 GI Bill pays for four years of tuition plus a housing allowance that varies based on where you go to school. In Fresno, it's about 1500 bucks a month. But here in San Francisco, it's over 4000 As long as they keep their GPA up, the government gives them that money with no strings attached. You can spend it or you can save it, and I chose to save it. To save as much money as possible to set myself up for success when school ends, and that paycheck that comes with it ends. But then there are Kyle's newest neighbors. You gonna be on TV? Oh, are you guys getting interviewed? Michelle and Austin are just trying to finish school without mountains of debt, even though they both have jobs. Even doing well for myself in the cooking field, I'd still have to take on student debt. With a single room near campus renting for $1,600 a month, they opted for this Chevy van. I built the countertop and I built the platform bed. Where they cook, sleep, and study. Do you spend a lot of time standing on your knees in here? Yeah pretty much all the time, which is why we double layer the carpet, so it's comfy. Like the others on this street, they take a low profile. Everything's silent and solar powered. This is our toilet. Oh, that's the toilet? Yeah, so Austin builds like a box around it. It's just for emergencies. In most cases, they use the school's bathrooms. And there's one other facility they'd like to use. This is the lot. This is what we've been trying for a while to have as a place to park at night. A mostly empty parking lot on the City College campus. In fact, state lawmakers have considered requiring colleges to open up lots like this for students who sleep in their vehicles. The students are already sleeping in their cars. All we're doing is providing them a safe place to live the existing reality they're already living. In a 2019 survey, 19% of community college students said they'd experienced homelessness at some point in the past year. And 20% of those, or 4% overall, said they'd 
lived in their vehicles. California has about 2 million community college students, so if the survey's accurate, we're talking about 80,000 people. The reality was the community colleges were very opposed to my bill. Assembly member Mark Berman's AB 302 was put on hold amid disagreements over how much it would cost the colleges and where the money would come from. AB 302 was meant to be a band-aid to help these students now, uh, while we also work on building more housing. City College says the parking lot's future is under discussion and it's not ready to comment. For now, the students say they're happy with the community they've built here on Frida Kahlo Way. When I was living in different apartments, we wouldn't really have come into contact with our neighbors at all, whereas here we actually have neighbors and like in a way like almost roommate because we hang out in each other's cars a lot. We all look out for one another. We look out for the neighborhood. I mean, we treat this sidewalk like anybody living in a house would treat the sidewalk in front of their house. Kyle has months of construction ahead of him, but he's not doing it alone. In the face of a housing crisis, this most unlikely and unconventional neighborhood has brought community to community college. I can't wait to cook a meal and call it home.